Hey everybody, so today I am going to attempt to do a swipe painting. Um, as I kind of layer out the colors, I will swipe with my um, palette knife and try and hopefully get some super fun cells happening. Then I will give it a good spin at the end to see if we can try and like stretch it out. So um, I have here my white, which I'm just going to be my swiping color. It's the only one that has silicone in it. So what I did was I uh, put like three drops of silicone because there's very little white. Um, I am using Liquitec Basics uh, Magenta. You can see it right there. I am using Liquitex Basics Blue. I'm not going to try and pronounce those particular paints because that's just going to be bad. Anyways, and I'm using the Folk Art Indigo Night, which is a really, really pretty color. And then I'm also using the Metallic Surfaces um, Festive Green. It's from Craftsmart. Okay. So here are the colors. Once they're mixed up in the cups, that was the magenta. It's a really pretty color. This is the indigo blue. Oh, sorry. Here, let me get my hand out of the way. So that's a pretty color. This is the metallic green. So it's kind of fun. And then this is the blue. Um, obviously, my base, which I just smudged because that's about right, um, is just plain... Um, black from Craftsmart. Nothing fancy schmancy for the base because I'm just going to be disturbing it anyways. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So I think I'm just going to start layering things. These are such pretty, pretty colors. I think I'll use that one last. So let's just kind of start. We don't do a lot of it. It's just more for fun. I have a friend on uh, Instagram that does this. She unfortunately, very unfortunately, does not have a YouTube channel. Um, and I kind of just have been learning from her as I go here. So what I'm going to do is I just simply take my palette knife and I just, let me just get rid of this because that's just going to be a mess. I'm just going to a quick stir here because it does have silicone in it. Just put that aside and drip everywhere because it's my MO. You'll get used to me. Okay. So I just take my palette knife and put a decent amount on the back of it. And then I'm a tad bit heavy handed. So let's just see how this goes. And as we keep going, it'll keep popping up. It's super pretty. See that? And you just keep going. You just keep having fun with it. So now this pretty pretty pink this magenta color is fantastic just saying i just do a little bit of the white like so i'm actually thinking my white be it might be a little bit thick for this Hmm, not sure. One sec, let's just give it a bit of a spin and see what happens. Yeah, it is appearing like it's going to be a little too thick. So what I'm thinking I might do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? I am going to abort is what I'm going to do. This is what we do when things don't go our way. We simply abort and change our minds, right? This is what we do. So how about I get one of my little cups and how about we do, let's just start pouring. How about that? That's always fun, right? So. I'm wondering if I should put some silicone out into these because this is going so well, clearly. Okay, hang on. <laughs> That's okay. Let's just do two in each. We don't need to do any, obviously. Look at these big cell bubbles. Yikes. Maybe what we can do here on this situation is let's just, um, 
let's just wreck this all over. Just for kicks and giggles, there's still more than enough paint on the base, so it'll still move nicely, so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, so let's start this whole thing again. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Maybe not, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way here. Let's place this here. So I'm just gonna start to layer some of these colors that I have. Okay. Let's see what we can get going on here. This is just a little eight by 10 canvas. Um, I'm actually painting over it from another painting that didn't turn out so fantastic. So that's okay. That's why trying is good because you can just keep going over them and keep trying different things, which is always fun too. And I'm going to spin it. So I might actually, um, Maybe wreck it a little bit. That would be fun because I like it sometimes when you get those pretty flower effects. So let's just see here. I don't need a lot of paint for this, so I don't want to oversaturate it. So what I'm going to do it. I'm just going to try and put that back in the center. And let's just do just a straight pour and see what we get here. I love that magenta color. It's so pretty. And the uh, metallic green. I don't use greens very often, but this metallic green has quite a shine to it. So um, it'll be interesting to see what we can get here. Uh, so it looks like it's more than enough paint. There we go. Just a tip. Um, just use your finger to catch um, after you're doing a straight pour or a ring pour. That way you don't get this crazy weird pattern that always ends up going super jinky. I'm just going to try and get rid of some of the little air bubbles. There's actually not too much in this paint. I kind of um, mixed them just a little while ago, not too long ago, but they seem to be pretty good today. So I'm going to find my handy dandy pokey stick, which is like way out of reach, but got it. Okay. So all I'm going to do is, oh, see some more bubbles. Hang on. Right as I say, oh, the paints are excellent. Very little bubbles. There's bubbles everywhere. Uh, it's a painter's life. Okay. Anyway, so there we go. I think I'm just going to take this. Um, I think I'm just going to do just a couple of wrecks like this. I know I'm super symmetrical. I'm like, oh, I'll just do a couple. And then I did see before, um, somebody did one of these things here. Yeah, super smooth, Christina, super smooth. <laughs> I suck. Anyways, that's okay. So let's just kind of tilt it just a little bit here. Not too, too much, because I want to try and let the colors do what they want to do. But just a little bit, like so. Maybe I should move these to... Um... <laughs> I'm super messy. You guys will so get used to this. Like, not even a little messy. I am... Just throw caution to the wind and spin, and whatever gets hit gets hit. It's probably a bad thing, but that's okay too, though, right? All right, so let's just see. My lids are everywhere. I'm a wreck. Okay. So anyways, I'm just going to bring this back this way. It is even here, but for some reason, I'm just going to go through and just do these again, just for su super duper funness. And then, oh, I got an idea. What if I did this? Okay, ready? Just join me. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Well, that is interesting. I will give it that. It's really muted and not a lot going on. I mean, if I bring it up, you can see the beautiful colors. But what's going to happen is, is this is going to stay just super um, muted. So, okay, let's keep going here. So, how about we do this? Let's just now do, when in doubt, put way too much paint on your canvas. Just kidding. Let's um, definitely use the other side of this now. Let's do this. Oh, 
Let's just see what we can get going on here. Not everything works out, right? So my thinking is, is just, you can take paint off of a canvas. It's really not the end of the world. Um, so I don't genuinely or generally ever like, genuinely don't generally like to um, scrape a painting. So I normally just do it until I like it and then I move on with my life. It's pretty much the way it goes. So a little dab of black right there in the center. Then not doing all those fancy schmancy little swipey things because this is actually really, really pretty. Like I do like it. See, I think the white really helps it when you go to do these kind of things. Let's see. Well, that's super fun. Okay, you're making me super dizzy now. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, you know what guys, this is nice. I super like this. Look at how cute this turned out. Wow, maybe one more spin. Oh, like <laughs> one more spin without taking everything with you. Let's just see if we can get some of that excess paint off a little bit anyways. And then let's just take a look. Look how pretty that is. Oh, it's so nice. So nice. That is, I'm super stoked. Look at those like really cool like cells. And it's nice because it expanded over both sides. So I'm just gonna make sure that my hands are cleaned off properly here. And I'm gonna go in and um, look at the beautiful sparkles. It's so pretty. Okay, hang on here. Let's just get some of these bubbles out and see. Everybody's always like, oh my goodness, when you use the torch, all the extra cells come out. I really don't ever get that, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's kind of like one and done for me when the bubbles, or bubbles, I don't wreck. When the cells come out, they normally just come out. But let's see, look at the center part. It's so gorgeous. I love this. There's like streaks and stuff going on in there. Um, I can't really bring you guys in because I don't know how to do that thing, but there it is there. Super pretty, hey? I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's interesting as all get out. Like, I really, really like this. I'm super excited. Anyways, hopefully you guys do too. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, just let me know in the comments. And I would super appreciate it if you guys uh, would possibly give me a like and uh, a subscription uh, or subscribe to my channel with all the little bells and whistles on. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that as well. So, but anyways, thank you for coming along. I totally appreciate it. This was super fun. It was really ended up being three paintings in one. It was at first, um, just, uh, well, we tried to do a swipe and then I lost my mind there for a second. We tried to do a swipe. It didn't work. So that's fine. We reverted to a straight pour. Um, and a spin it was good but it was just super muted so that made this lovely backdrop here um, and then uh, just adding the extra colors um, I think gave it just that little extra oomph um, and then doing the wreck with this and you can see all the cells coming up now so I think it's just going to keep morphing and doing its thing but I think it's absolutely gorgeous so hopefully it'll dry nicely I think all of us painters always worry about how it's going to dry <laughs> um, but yeah, if I actually um, can uh, turn my brain on and remember, I will post a picture of it dry um, and then we'll kind of see where that goes. So, okay, we'll take it easy and I appreciate you guys joining me and have a great day. Talk to you soon.